so hi there. Uh, I'm Abhilash. Uh, I'm a high school dropout, uh, working as a mobile software tester um, for say one year or so. So uh, I, you can follow me at Abhilash Nari, which is my Twitter handle, and I blog at uh, eSpyTester at WordPress.com. So starting with it, why did I, why did I choose testing this? Okay, first thing is I'm really passionate about it. It's because it's the mobile world and I you know I got, you know, I fell in love with <laughs> mobile phones and I, you know, started loving it. So I thought, okay, there are some flaws and there are some mind tunings that should happen in, in the world of mobile industry and mobile applications. So I thought, okay, let's join that. Okay, let's make it happen. Uh, and one more thing is that I think, okay, mobile, you know, stop it. So that's not the way. We just go in deep, understand what you want what users want and make it happen. So why mobile testing, testing mobile apps? So on an average of Indian people or people spend more than say three hours of uh, their days out of 24 hours. So which is about twice a day of what they time taken to have their food or whatever and uh, three fourth of whatever they go for okay say sleep. Uh, then, so the web, so it has stained over, turned over. So over a period of time, uh, the mobile application just, you know, turned over. It is almost 91% of mobile. People just use mobile apps to socialize or they get connected using a mobile app. So this is also one message. It's 30% of, of average human beings' life is spent on mobile applications, believe it or not, which means, okay, the hours and the hours of mobile application that, okay, we are indulged in. So why, why, why is that apps? We are making it for users. They love it. They, we are, we have to make them love it. So what we have to do? You are not alone. So we are here to help you. We are testers. We come with you and we say, okay, dude, just come with me, help, share with me. I'll help you to become a good one. So then the business, so you make the users love your application and business will automatically follow. You don't have to worry about it. Users will take care of it. So here is an example. So people, you know, when I say Android, okay, people don't believe in that. I'm just kidding. So here is the graph of iOS application being tested. Uh, so most of the applications are tested, say starting from games, applications, utilities, music, every app in iOS are tested and not every app, I can't tell that. So it's being tested. Have anyone played the game The Walking Dead in iOS? Uh, okay, so it is one of the famous game and Walking Dead, yeah, cool. So it is one of the famous game, very addictive, uh, super duper graphics, fantastic games. So here is the graph of, okay, don't they really love it? Don't they love The Walking Dead game? It's super crazy, man. You should you should play that once, okay? So there are diehard fans for it, like me. Even I do play uh, Walking Dead, so uh, I'm a fan of it, huge fan of it. So so here are the users. They focus on what they want. They got users, and each level you cross, you pay twenty dollars. Business, okay? I paid twenty dollars. Yeah, I did. I did pay twenty dollars. I don't care because they made me use that app, okay, I am addicted to it. So that's how it is. This, the game, the idea, everything worked at a time. So we have to be careful. One thing is what have developers that, okay, they create application, they launch it. So there are someone who need to help you on what's the risk that you're gonna face in the future. So which is one of them here, Path, which is a very famous app. Uh, it's for iOS and Android. Uh, they were accused for acceptable address book. You, they started accessing users' phone book and saved that in their server. And iOS just got caught it, and they fined them eight million eight million dollars. Ah, now okay, Tim Cook is happy. <laughs> so just kidding. So it's like okay, this is a risk here. Uh, there is a guideline telling iOS iOS guideline telling not to access user data or not to take any of the user data and save it in a server or anywhere locally. 
and there there they need someone to tell them that okay this what the guidelines is but they need testers for it that's why you are here and they find so gone business it's not that gone okay it's they renewed it back okay they apologized the uh, apple telling okay sorry we won't do that they removed everything and that's fine now and uh, here is another example which is uh, i I'm, I'm i'm not supposed to tell the name uh, it's an android app uh, where the permissions were huge it's like okay let me access send a message send a make a phone call uh, wake up the uh, phone and uh, take users data everything so this is one of the famous app but the permissions which came in play store so you install app you see permissions list of permissions there it was so huge that okay it was offending to the user and they somewhere around in social media they just announced it and around 7000 people uninstalled the app in, in an hour it's a business app just 7000 people in an hour that's all they lost 7000 customers so it's important to understand what's the risk that they are going under before launching the app so there are some important aspects to consider when it comes to mobile application testing so it testing okay automation fine okay what about the users so you you test application keeping users in your mind have you ever tested it this what it is so important is the communication users okay you don't know when your app is going to crash or it, it is going to minimize because of an incoming call or an incoming message you get a pop up message saying hi dude and okay the app in the background just closes welcome so then the orientation so almost say 70% uh, of ebook readers uh, use landscape Uh, while test uh, while uh, reading a book on a mobile uh, device and most of the time we don't see what is the orientation that's being supported from our side and make it change changing it very rapidly have you ever tried that being a mobile application developer so you take a application okay turn landscape portrait landscape portrait it just blows off simple so there are some things okay which is not done by the user but it's important to consider that okay and get it fixed and the platform platform is mainly used to make okay you study about platform see what is android about there are lots of okay permissions lots of activities lots of okay things that you can okay put into your app which is not at all there so what i have been doing is all this while i took some of the famous app okay then okay okay took the source code and so what are what was the permissions that they are using what are the activities that they are using so found that most of the applications does not use okay some important okay activities and actions so for example okay i um, i i got a phone call okay you you see developer options in the developer thing okay you enable that don't keep activities there is something called don't keep activities so you enable that okay just you are in some activity in the app any app you take you are in some activity minimize the app you just open it and go back see what happens so out of out of 70% i think the app crashes this is something that i found it's because of the activity called okay long okay long long sleep or something something like that is not enabled in the application if they do that okay the app would okay be stable so it's important to learn about platform see what it is understand what it is and you are developing you are busy in development so we are testers we will help you on this so next is the functionality what the app does simple so what do you want to do it's a functionality you have to check for functionality is very important then the location nowadays okay how many of you all use facebook twitter path okay hundreds hundreds of apps so location is very important for the application and for the users so what most of the time the application we uh, does is okay they ask user to enable the uh, gps and track the location precise location uh, and get the data or something like that. so that is useful for you and that is useful for 
users to see what's around them and what they are doing is for you. So you understand what they are doing, simple. From where are they accessing? From which area? What is the connectivity? What is happening in their mobile? Doesn't it help? So next thing, user scenarios. So user scenarios meaning understand who is your audience, who, is a, who are your users. So is it a Facebook? Okay, everybody uses it. Let's take NDTV app. So who, I, I think okay, NDTV uh, application is used in some North Indian most of the time, say some Hindi or something, okay, in the village someone, okay, how do they use it? So let's take one particular user, frame a flow for him. So this user does these, 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 these things, understand the pattern. So user, okay, he opens the app, okay, he just reads the news article and closes the app. Okay, he does something, he share it, closes. So write, okay, understand the pattern. So it's important for us to understand, okay, the app is stable on that particular situation for that particular user. So you know your target audience, share it with us. We'll help you on this. Next is the gestures. Oh, mobile applications, five fingers, ten fingers. Next, they'll take legs in that. Okay, lots of stuff. Uh, gestures, let's make use of it. So there are some areas where, okay, we can make use of it, but we don't. We keep buttons there. We keep icons there. Make user to, okay, it's auto hidden and you have to tap it once again. Okay, press this, go to the new page. Oh man, this is mobile. Okay, so let's make use of it. There are gestures and there are gestures or okay, different devices having different multiple touches and different gestures. For example, if you take Samsung, you have eye tracking and hand shake and you keep it upside down, the call disconnects. Oh, man. So it's important to consider all of this. Let's use it. Let's test it. So next thing is the guidelines. Oh, this is very important. Android apps doesn't follow guidelines. They don't care. They have never opened androidguidelines.com for sure. But Apple does. Apple do care for it. I'm not telling about Android or Apple here. It's common. It's guidelines. Why, why are they creating guidelines is to, okay, say my platform works according to the guidelines. You use it, your app will be stable. Your app will be much better. So yeah, simple as, simple as that. Use guidelines, make use of it. So there are, okay, 104 pages of guidelines for Windows. You will not be able to read it thoroughly. Uh, some say long, long scrolls for Android and uh, Apple. So what we have done is we have listed down a common checklist and uh, common guidelines that you need to face, in, uh, you need to verify in your app before sending it to the Play Store. So let's, let's make use of it. Let's use guidelines. Your app will be stable. You don't have to worry if you use guidelines. Android is fine. It's open source. Why don't you use guidelines? Yeah, use it. It's because Android is made in a such a way that, okay, the, those guidelines will appear in their platform. Simple as that. Okay, then is the update, okay. This update is mostly, okay, considered where, okay, you get an app update on the Play Store. Okay, it updates. It clears all unwanted files in the file manager and get your uh, data back and save it. Again, it will open. So, these updates are mainly to check, okay, your user's data are again saved back in the application, is it? Or, okay, it again asks user to log in once again or do whatever they want. So I have plenty of book bookmarks done with me and okay, it asks me to log in again, it has to sync and I am in a 2G network, oh, blah, blah, blah. So let's not do that. So check for updates, We let's ve verify for the updates, okay, keep your app with you, put the old version, okay, update it, simple as that, you don't have to do anything there. Next is a notification. This is uh, a super duper part in Android and iOS. So notification, you send push notification, the local app notification. What, what I found in one of the app is that, okay, they displayed, okay, here is the thing that I want to do, blah, 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 in a four lines in the notification bar. How does it look? And that is the content in the same when you go inside. So what is the use of it? Make it short, simple, sweet. Make them okay. You they have to be they have to be curious to see what's inside. Not show everything in the notification and tell user, dude, don't go to the app. See everything in the notification and block it. Simple. 
then do not create a app, just create notifications, simple. So, now all these things put together, we got Kauflang. I will be sharing the slides on uh, uh, Twitter or Facebook, you can just follow me. Uh, this one mnemonic to rule them all. So, you just go through this, it is in a website, it is in our office website, you can just go, it is being used widely. Uh, this is a simple way and easier way not to, okay, trouble. Uh, keeping users in mind, this is created by user for the user, simple. So, it is easy for you to understand, it is easy for you to execute and okay, make your app stable. So, how can you make it much better? So, anybody of you have a testing team with you? Yeah. And a lot of, I mean, uh, obviously Android comes with its own native uh, accessibility guidelines where you have voiceovers and everything. Yeah, yeah. But then, you know, you have many apps don't have labels for all the buttons. Yeah, exactly. So, if you click it, it will say get button. Yeah, button. button and then yeah. you will be like, what does that do? Yeah. So, I think including labels, custom labels for your app is one important part of accessibility. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, there are lots of things like that. It is not, not more, just yeah, not just accessibility or something. So, app, the Android platform is not able to recognize what is app doing, what is app icon is sometimes. Yeah. What they do is they just create a blank button saying okay, okay something, okay LG or something, okay app, Android platform does not, okay Android says okay I am not able to find it, I will say something else and okay what about the accessibility, nobody can't use it. For us it is fine. So, when it comes to that accessibility is a huge part that we have to consider. So, that is, this is for a basic user understanding and okay to make your app stable before for, for the first time you s uh, release an app it says okay it has lots of uh, uh, crashes and uh, okay it does not respond on the interactions that ha users does. So, get the get a checklist of whatever I showed you the cop flung in write one or two scenarios for it execute it that is enough and Android has the same page telling okay testing tested before sending the app. It has a long checklist. I hope nobody would have opened that, uh, okay, would have seen that, okay, made a list of it. It is very simple. Just 10, okay, turn the orientation thrice uh, and, okay, minimize the app 3, 4 times. So, something like that. It is very simple. We do not need to make a list of it, just execute it. That is enough. So, here is how we can make your app much more better. So, get and give your statistics, app statistics and get it analyzed by the testers. Okay, what they can do is not a simple thing. They can, okay, do a competitor analysis, who is your competitors, okay, see what they are doing, what are the features that, okay, what are killer features we call it, okay, that attracts the user to go into that app, then this app. So, what do they do? What is most attractive in them? So, lots of analysis and performance and battery, you can use a, the app called Little Light, which will tell you to Okay, uh, which can help you see your app's performance and battery uh, usage. Little i, little i dot co dot in. You can just visit. Uh, I'll be sharing that also. So user experience report. We give it to the real users. Sit with them, dude. I'm not going to tell you anything. Just use it. I'll be noting it down. So this is a kind of research that we have been doing. So user experience is a part. Okay, we have been doing different kinds of. Uh, research in, in user experience, give it to them, understand what they are doing, what they want first and uh, give it to the old age people, give it to the teenage guy, go to college, give it to the professor, we have done all these things. So, it does not fantastic word, we have life, we have something called so called planning. So, uh, you sit with your uh, testers, see what, see what you want, tell them what you want and ok, they will help you to figure out or you can help them to figure out what you want and what they want. So, both things, everything will be alright, smooth and clean, simple. So, this is most important thing, ma make some time for testing. You are in a hurry, yeah, you know, we are all okay, very, very okay, what, uh, enthusiastic about launching the app in uh, the play store, it has to go, people has to download, yeah, fine. We are all, we are all, that is fine. Make some time, okay, if your app is going to release in August 15th, okay, get, take a time of one week 
and give it to the tester tell them to do whatever whatever they can do or tell you tell them what you want them to do they will help you on it so don't disappoint users for the first time that that impact is very bad and that is going to cost you a lot it's not for one user he just uninstalls app just go ahead and he might tell it to someone else dude don't install that app that app is junk use the other one which is your competitor so there you go you are gone so so here is a quick tips that i want to give you follow the guidelines from from the beginning not after you create a app okay do whatever you want then say okay do i didn't see the guidelines guidelines is one of the wonderful uh, document that each platform have created so far so far guidelines has everything uh, you want to do you can do and you can help it fix so don't keep features for the first release yeah you want make prioritize what you want understand what users want understand what you competitors does okay so you have three features with you saying okay share comment and favorite and your competitor has this this three features the same feature saying okay share come but he has something called okay read it offline yeah that's fine let him have it let's make it okay much more easier way by okay making it offline or something give some fonts to it give some colorful okay headlines to it or something like that and make okay you should not he should not think about okay that app uh, that app has it okay what is it read it offline but i feel this app is much better which because it shows me some text okay i can increase the font size and it supports on different devices and stuff so that's that's the impact that we have to make for the first time do not keep features for the first release and try not to eat bad day. this is a, a universal problem in uh, mobile applications so put all the permissions uh, give all the activities it will just developer options is there have anyone any of your developer open the developer options yes. have you executed all of them what ever since you created app so developer options is a wonderful thing so it has something called show surface updates so what it does is okay the screen it will refresh only for the first time you open it but there are some applications where it refresh every time and it consumes your battery this show surface option will help you to see what the screen is doing you just it should not react until unless the user interacts with it if if not it should not do anything so it just refreshes it says some blink it will it'll just be blinking so if your screen updates each and every time so this leads to okay what battery consumption so there are some areas like that where you have to understand okay where the app battery is mostly consumed see what your what is the core functionality of your app try to make okay uh, okay model saying okay i will take this feature see battery performance okay cpu usage memory usage stuff take the core functionality you don't take anything else because where the user is going to stay for a long time is what your app is uh, your app is going to decide so decide what you want to do first so go sit with them understand okay oh dude this is my idea and this is what i'm going to do and uh, okay this is what you can help me with and testers will say okay yeah yeah your idea looks good uh, so uh, let's make a small changes here okay you give me the wireframe and uh, your uh, doc and i'll help you on what to do next so they are actually here to help you they are okay they can do they can do some magic here uh, help you do stop understand the risks saying okay dude you don't release the app at this time this is going to cost you a lot stop it fix this error and go ahead so even a small crash or even a small okay the even the image of the resolution image resolution in the app does matter so understand user's pattern which i told you last time so understand what who is your target audience okay see what they want to do what they will do 
So map it, just perform it, simple. So um, I think some of you came late. Uh, I'll go to the first one. I think I still have time. So introducing, uh, I, I think only three of them are. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Abhilash. I'm a high school dropout here. Uh, okay, I started my mobile testing career. It's because I'm okay, really passionate about it. And I found okay, yeah, this is the next generation. Let me not okay. Let's stop studying and go ahead. I just want to do what I want to do. So you can just uh, tweet on Abhilash Hari, uh, which is my Twitter handle, and I blog at uh, Spy Tester, uh, which is my blog ID. You can just visit there. I have uh, I have some ideas there. I have some experience written on there. Um, this how this is why I choose testing. So this is repeat. Okay, you'll be recording this again. Okay, no, no problem. Uh, so <laughs> I am really passionate about it. Simple as that. Okay, testing is one of the way to uh, make people think again and again. It's because it's just testing is nothing but questioning. We question you people, okay, you think, and you may execute it. Simple. So we keep on, okay, questioning, question, question. Okay, you get ideas, ideas, ideas. Okay, execute. We'll help you to fix some on that. Simple as that. So we are like spy cameras. Uh, we'll be watching you, dude. Developer, you are doing this. Yeah, I got you. So uh, we'll be watching you. Uh, so we'll tell you, dude, don't make that. Make this, or I'll tell you, please don't make that. Please. So sometimes rude, sometimes polite. So uh, we are here to listen to your feelings. Share it with us. Come, let's go for a coffee, lunch, dinner, whatever you want. Drink. Yeah. So anything, you just go with them. They are ready for it. Sit. Okay, share everything with them, your ideas, okay, what they want to do, how they can help your business to grow much better. So we just don't do testing here. We research a lot about what your app is going to do and who are your users and uh, uh, okay, okay, make your app some, okay, stay at the top always, okay. Not always, sometimes, okay, yeah, we have up, ups and downs always, so we can't expect to stay up for a long time because there are other people who are same way passionate about developing app, they have lots of ideas, they will do it. That's fine, okay, but we are not losing whatever customers that we have now. So why mobile testing app, why we need to test the app is like, okay, we spend uh, hours and hours uh, using mobile apps uh, in a day. More than we eat, more than we sleep. Uh, so we take carry our mobile wherever we go. Uh, we use it wherever we go. Uh, so while sleeping, we get up in between, say, "Hey, dude, what's up?" We get a Facebook status saying, "Yo, oh, dude, your friend has tagged you." Yeah, this is what is happening. It's it's going to be mobile in some years. No desktop. This monitors will be thrown out. Will be burned, and it's going to be mobile. So. This is what the changes had happened recently. It's like, okay, desktop had gone down and mobile is like a huge graph has gone up and people socialize more on that. Facebooking, Twitter, everything they do on mobile apps. Uh, and let's make, we are making use of it. Let's make use of it much more better than what we are doing now. It's because ev we, we can't say everything is stable. Even the Android platform say you have uh, 1,999 devices, uh, different resolutions, uh, different screen size, uh, customized, uh, okay, manufacturers, uh, is Android really challenging? Yeah, it does. It is. It is challenging. So even uh, Google might have thought about it. Yeah, they are making some changes. They will do. But it's important for us to, okay, say it's, people don't care. They buy Samsung phones. They want Samsung phone, they buy it. Uh, we kind of do, don't buy Samsung phone, it's totally customized and uh, it has uh, bucks, plenty of bucks in it. Don't do that. So it's not like that. They love it, they use it. It's important to consider that also. We, and uh, that's how it is now. So uh, mobile has gone up a very uh, rapidly grown up or whatever we say. Uh, next thing is, this, yeah, it is playing a 34 percentage of uh, average human beings so-called lifetime, we say, 
we okay we come while sitting in a cab start it starts from the time we get up and it ends in the time where we sleep simple so 24 hours so we don't one day without mobile is like oh man we'll be like going crazy no messages no whatsapp whatsapp oh man it's something like that we are we are in that mobile uh, so it's it's that is what it is the world is now so users why you make app is one is for okay you have a good idea uh, okay users will love it and you do it and you launch it in the app store yeah it's for users uh, why don't why don't okay uh, the app will be much more better when someone is there to guide you or help you in with your idea that you have now so let's fine tune it okay let's make your app much more okay beautiful so next thing is a business ah if your app you have a good idea you have better user interface you got a okay uh, people waiting for you to download the app you don't have to worry about business they will take care of it you don't have, you don't get bother about it it's it's left to the users uh i think everyone came in this slide okay uh, this is what the apple uh, tablet the apps are tested it's like games uh, which is up to 150 app downloaded so these are the categories that's being tested in the uh, apple uh, platform uh and uh, i think walking dead everyone came walking dead uh yeah not to repeat people be bored again and again so if you want me to tell this i can just finish it with this this walking dead please play that game it's very addictive we are already addictive to this mobile just install this game play uh and see okay how it is there are there are die hard fans for this so he is one of them i think so and i am one of it uh, uh so people here pay 20 dollars to okay to go to the next level so each level you can play on different okay you pay new game new game that's fine but every level you have to pay 20 dollars and uh, that's how the business so just you just make them uh, love your application okay people be ready to pay say 100 dollars 200 dollars they are ready because it's just that okay the apps are made in such a way that okay people don't get out of it i was playing walking dead for 3 hours non stop it's because that game was so addictive man oh don't play that game <laughs> so that's it uh so i'm done this is a repeat repetition that i have doing so any questions so last side is uh, pretty interesting so no q and a enna thalaiva ask the questions <laughs> this is rajinikanth style i like rajinikanth so any questions are welcome or i think we have five more minutes still i thought somewhat think 50 people in that uh, bar camp is that count <laughs> any questions uh any suggestions or that you want to interact i have a question for all the listeners yeah i am in education i want to know why there are not many apps uh, yeah i want to know why there are not many apps in the considering you know and what one more thing that we can tell is you just come forward so ask okay there are uh, okay conferences happening there okay tell them okay you want educations apps to be done none all the testers none okay all the testers
more focus on money. That's right. Nothing uh, wrong. Nothing wrong. wrong as there is a proper mix and it's really uh, exactly. delivers value yeah. to whoever. That's why I'm talking about there's no value there. It's only focused on money. The content is not that good. No, I don't know. I'll give you one simple app. I want to prepare. No, that's what I've been looking for somebody who's prepared an app. There are very <coughs> basic uh, sites like Khan Academy. There are so many things. I just want an app which will even be able to connect all these things together. But even those sort of things aren't happening. I would like someone to prepare an app for me or whatever you call it. You want to do it. Your but I would like an app where I can put in a lot of educational positions and things like this. Links like your own. Uh, Yahoo, you have a directory. I think you all know where Google and Yahoo. So the directly type of the thing where something can help in education, there are so many things which are free. But our students don't get the opportunity to go through them. That's what I was talking to the other group also about the number of tablets, the cost of tablets, cost of the uh, software which goes into tablets. So I just told her, I came to back and thinking that we'll be off with the Windows screen. Uh, I mean, I just spoke for five minutes back and Yeah, yeah. So I come back, I, I got to go to Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'll just share it on uh, Facebook or uh, Twitter now. So you can just have my card, you can just mail me.